will be presented to two-time Tony Award-winning actress, Judith Light. She is being recognized for her advocacy on behalf of the LGBTQ plus community and as a tireless and committed HIV AIDS activist who was among the first in the fight back in the early 1980s. We look forward to presenting Judith with her award on June 9th. Now also being honored on Tony Sunday are this year's special Tony Award recipients. They are three-time Tony-nominated actress Marin Maisie, who passed away in September and who was honored for her advocacy and leadership within the theater community as a brave and strong voice for women's health issues. Also in this category are Sunny Tilders and Creature Technology Company, recognized for their creation of Kong in King Kong. And finally, Jason Michael Webb, awarded for his outstanding musical arrangements for Choir Boy. Now, please join me in welcoming the president of the American Theater Wing, Heather Hitchens. Thank you, Tom, and good morning, everyone, and everyone watching at home. I want to start by thanking the media that is here with us today at the library and in newsrooms around the country. The health of our industry relies on your continued coverage, and we thank you for that. In 1947, our organization, the American Theatre Wing, founded the Antoinette Perry Awards to honor excellence in the theater. And it is my pleasure to note that this year marks the 73rd annual Tony Awards. And we look good. <laughs> now, let's take a moment to recognize the recipients of this year's special Tony Honors for Excellence in the Theater. They are Broadway Inspirational Voices and M Michael McElroy, the founder. The Schubert Organization's longtime vice president of theater operations, Peter Enton. And master scenic painter, Joseph Blakely Forbes. And last but not least, the FDMY's Engine 54, Ladder 4, Battalion 9, or as we like to call them, the Pride of Midtown. <laughs> These very worthy recipients will receive their honors on June 3rd at the Tony Honors Ceremony hosted by the Sofitel New York. As the American Theater Wing is focused not just on Broadway, but on theater happening from coast to coast, one of my favorite awards we give out each year is the Regional Theater Tony Award, recognizing the achievements of an American performing arts institution that exists outside the world of Broadway. This year, we are delighted to honor the work of TheaterWorks Silicon Valley in Palo Alto, California. <laughs> TheaterWorks is about to embark on its 50th season. Through all of those years, it has grown under the steady leadership of its founder and artistic director, Robert Kelly, who is set to retire next year. For its commitment to excellence, its emphasis on diversity, and its long history of presenting new work, we are proud to salute this great institution. Now, I would like to take a moment to recognize all of the sponsors of the 2019 Tony Awards. We can simply not do our work without them, and we thank them for our generous support. You can see them uh, outlined there. Now, my favorite part of my remarks is to ask you to please join me in welcoming my friend, a colleague, and partner in crime, the president of the Broadway League, Charlotte St. Martin. Thank you, Heather. Let there be more crime. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to be back here celebrating the amazing works that the 800 plus members of the Broadway League produce and present around the globe. The visibility provided by our telecast is an important boon for business on Broadway, which has had 12 record-setting years in a row. Yes, isn't that great? And of course, we wouldn't be able to keep breaking records without Broadway's legions of loyal fans who vote with their feet by showing up in record numbers. Last year alone, 30 million people saw a Broadway show around the country. But business aside, our telecast's single most important job is to inspire the next generation of theater professionals watching on television sets all over the globe. 
The international reach of this ceremony is one of the ways we continue to fulfill our mission of making Broadway accessible to everyone, regardless of where they live. And none of this would be possible without our valuable, our valued colleagues at CBS who have been airing the Tony Award since 1978. Yes, thank you. And thank you to Jack Sussman and all of the people at CBS who make this possible. We also want to thank our friends at White Cherry Entertainment, executive producer Ricky Kirshner and executive producer and director Glenn Weiss. These Emmy Award winning producers are something else and year after year they've continued to raise the bar for this telecast and I just can't wait to see what they have in store for us on June 9th. This year we will once again bestow the Excellence in Theater Education Award in partnership with Carnegie Mellon University. This award is given to a K through 12 teacher that we hand select from a nationwide open nomination process and it comes with a $10,000 grant to the winning educators theater program. The winner will receive his or her award at Radio City on June 9th. Now we are getting very close to the big moment. Please welcome back to the podium Tom Schumacher. Thank you, Charlotte. So you can learn more about each of these special recipients and their respective awards by visiting TonyAwards.com. That's also where you'll be able to keep track of all the exciting events happening in the coming weeks with a range of exclusive content. And for the latest news, you'll want to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Tony Awards. If you're feeling lucky, visit TonyAwardsChallenge.com for an interactive Tony Awards game with some very big prizes brought to you by our friends at Audience Rewards. And now it's our good fortune to have two stage greats with us this morning who will unveil the 2019 Tony Award nominations. Please welcome two-time Tony Award winner, B.B. Newworth, and two-time Tony Award nominee, Brandon Victor Dixon. So thank you again for joining us. Uh, I'm excited to let you know that we have a very special guest joining us in just a few minutes. CBS This Morning co-host Gail King will join BB and Brandon out here as they officially kick off Tony season. And in the meantime, we will take a brief pause as we wait for our cue from CBS This Morning. As soon as we get that signal, we'll continue the live presentation of the 2019 Tony Award nominations. <laughs> <laughs> 